sure. This is basically that. On, on, it's even a red Marth now. He switched colors. Yeah, so it's essentially the same thing. And uh, That's a real stretch tie, but you know what? We'll take it. Yeah. I like how you're building up the storyline here. Is that this game is so old and there's so much legacy that it has been red Marth versus the neutral colored ICs for, since 2002. It's been a long time. And here we are again. Wow. Those forward dares are so good. Holy crap. Gets the grab on an unsafe down smash. Are you guys commentating all copy? Okay, now he's juggling. I'm, I'm just asking because I, I would like to. If one of you forward would smash off. You guys I don't know. I'd like to. Okay, yep, grabs the edge and that's going to finish the stock. Stango looking really clean so far. Um, kind of untouchable, and that's the way you need to look versus ICs because you will get your damage, you will find it. Yes. Uh, well, see, the thing about, like, it's very hard to uh, to discourage Ice Climbers. It's difficult. And, and you can do it, but the reason why is because they have that great equalizer. You know? Yeah. Uh, what is it they call it in, like, combat sports? It's called the puncher's chance, you know? The the KO artist. Uh -huh. You know, you could be you could lose nine rounds and knock them out in the tenth. You know? Uh, and it's, it's a similar thing that Ice Climbers have, that, that ability to just be... But whoa. Stango is, like, reading rolls from... He is... He's, he he seems untouchable today in general. Yeah, it look it definitely looks like he's not going to be that 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 guy that wins eleven rounds and gets knocked out of the twelve. Rocky won Rocky three Rocky three right? I'm pretty sure it did. And yeah, 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 yeah. I mean he's looking pretty good. <laughs> he's looking pretty good, man. He's pretty good. Oh, it looks like he got turned around for the grab. Forward smash. I think that forward smash might have been safe unless like Slug just like completely stayed in shield and then way right. dashed out. After. He's got a wobble. We got a wobble here. Signs of life from Slug. Yeah. Well, so that's the great part about it. Like, uh, it, you only need one. You know what I mean? You don't need multiple grabs. You just need one. And then their their stocks go. The oh only problem God. is he's got to do that again. Is that is that neutral air like a thing? Like just a go the retreating neutral, neutral No, he went right at him. Oh. I mean, it can be, uh, especially if you you know you hit Nana, which I think he did. Okay, I'm surprised he went for a grab instead of a smash attack, but I guess he... Oh, yeah, he just wanted to reset an edge guard. Doesn't quite work out. There, there's that. Yeah, you right. It's a little bit of a fade back. The last one was just, like, Ooh. right at him. Yeah, smooth move. Guyver, yeah. <laughs> what a sneaky grab the ledge. Upper. Wow. The down air. All right. Wow. Stango's nuts. Uh, He's Stango is uh, he going got, for first place. He got grabbed once. Um, he looks confident. His spacing's incredible. His punishes are clean. Um, I don't. I don't know what else to say. We'll see if uh, FD has been a strong stage for Slug. Not just against Stango, but overall since he's been playing Ice Climbers. So maybe he'll try things. This is how it started out last time. Pokes, pokes, pokes. A couple forward arrows on the edge, and then you know that's it. And then that was it. He's thinking. He's, He's giving him more uh, percentage, though. He was not at five. Yeah, I know. That's true. I think he was at zero last time, honestly. Oh, yeah. He was at I'm zero, not, and I'm I think sure. when he died, he was at five percent. Maybe, yeah. All right. Gets the blizzard grab. Got the classic. Put up the wall. And, you know, that's uh, it becomes a bit of a platformer on a FD sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Ba -dun -da -da -dun -da 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 -da. Lost that stock. On to the next one. Game continued. And there's the forward air. It looks like that forward air is, like, pretty good. <laughs> Like you sort of do a forward air and you sort of drift right at, the, I guess you can sort of react to their wave dash towards then forward air early, or you can wait and you can do like a spaced one on their shield, which will either hit them or be safe. Oh, it's a, a couple pixels away. <laughs> All right, <laughs> get some with the, the Marth classic. Oh, the Ultima Scout Classic. <laughs> I mean, there's nowhere else he can go, but yeah. Nowhere to go but down. Yeah. Okay. Pushing him slowly to the edge. No. No, no, no. Yeah. It's, uh, interesting. He's doing short hop forward air to up air. Uh, forward smash in neutral? I guess he knew that, uh, I guess it was... I think it was a read. Yeah, Slug was kind of like holding his position and not moving anywhere. So he just sort of forward smashes in place and that's enough to uh, get the hit. And you know, it's that thing with uh, Nana being six frames behind. Is um, If they're going to stay still, often Nana will be caught doing something while the other one is shielding. Yeah. Nana gets there in time for the wobble.
Yeah, like, uh, Nana's definitely like State Farm, you know? Uh, you want to elaborate? Oh, well, she's like a good neighbor. Like, whenever you're in trouble, <laughs> she just shows up. She's always there. She shows up to save you. It's like having a teammate in singles. I knew you had to follow up. All right, yep. Another down air. Um, you go below the edge like that, and you don't really have any recovery options left, except for one. Stango knows that, able to sniff it out. He, he used the uh, grab in its ability to get out of getting jabbed by Nana. Not that the jab really mattered that much. It's kind of funny that he did it. He was just ignoring Nana. Looks like that's still kind of the plan. Um, as long as Popa doesn't have a way to get back down. I mean, that's 80% already. Yeah. And uh, now he's got a lead. <laughs> Up smash. Interesting. Interesting. Yes, uh, Dango with his back to the corner, not able to get out. Um, will he be able to recover? Oh, yes. Save his jump. The I, sneaky Marth tactic. I thought the answer would be no. But the answer was yes. And another Blizzard. That one doesn't work out. In fact, it uh, gets countered, and it looks like he might lose his stock. Magnet hands. Hmm. <laughs> Sliced. Uh, Stango, who looked like he was about to lose a stock, instead is now up two stocks to one at high percent. And you know the Ice Climbers go. Um, you give Marth an opportunity, he may be able to take out Natty. He may be able to take out your whole stock uh, without even getting hit once. Especially the way that Stango is playing with that forward airs. Instead, we see a crouch cancel grab. Into a wobble, which wasn't super necessary. He's already high percent, but that's just going to guarantee the game. Uh, so if you're Slug, this is, you know, by far Ice Climber's best stage, right? Yeah. Uh, so you really, like, you, got, you really wanna, want this. You want to pull it together, because going down and facing two uh, counter picks not a good prospect. No. Wow, Phantom Fair. It's me or it's like something with Phantoms at UCF. Yeah. All right, he's got it. He got the Nair. So I guess he was trying to um, actually beat that very option, wave dash in. But Slug's timing was so early that it wasn't really, it didn't have, like, the downward slant that it needed in order to beat it. Right. Um, yeah, so yeah, yeah. Slug is able to get the crucial game, too. That's what, we, uh, that's what the people came to see. Sneaking under the... Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> what everybody wants. Yep, playing the platformer again. Stango, I guess, uh, content to hold his ground or gradually take some. Pokes. Okay. He's trying to poke his eye out with these down tilts. Yeah, he is. Um, I don't know what he thinks. I guess if Slug is going to continue... Goes down with the Dolphin <laughs> Slash. <laughs> if, I if, feel like that was on purpose. I think Slug continuing to go for um, the ice blocks for the wave dash approaches. I guess Stango's thinking it's all beaten if I just do that down tilt. Down tilt until Nana falls off the stage basically and uh, finds himself in an advantage. Yeah, let's see what uh, Sopo could do in this matchup. I think this matchup's at least 90 10 in favor of Marth. Matchup sucks. Yeah. How are you supposed to hit him? I guess. Well, you can do stuff like that. I guess ASDI down, shield grab, huh? You're in the ice climber stage chant. Again. So weird. That was probably a missed input. Didn't look like something in the he wanted it. Like, it just didn't make sense. See, this is what we were talking about before. Uh, enough respect for Slug Sopo not to rush it. He sort of holds his ground, and it's yeah. up to Slug to try to find a way in. Okay, looks like this time one singular ice block knows that Stango's going to try to jump over it on reaction, and then is able to punish him for it. So that's the real reason that you're often going to see um, projectiles like that, the sort of uh, forcing the platformer. It's not necessarily just to like tack like a few damage at a time. Um, what it's really about is to try to see what options they're going to go for to beat it, and then to counter those. That's exactly what Slug did, and now he finds himself with an even game. See, we're going for it again. Looks like, see, Stango's a good enough player that he doesn't try to go for exactly the same thing. This time he works the platform a little bit to you know, do a uh, timing mix-up. That was a really far circle jump backwards. You see that? The circle jump backwards? Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, it was super far back. Yeah, it looked a bit... Uh, it was like the, the circle jump version of the Cactar grab. You ever see that gif? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I think, and I think the idea with it is... Um, since Slug was able to beat Stango's jump with the wave dash in, um, and then like a jump, that time he jumps and then he wave lands way backwards so that if Slug does try to extend into him, he can get a punish. 
Yes, yeah, Nango's playing. Uh, he's playing pretty good. It looks like Slug's adapting though. Uh, but oh, get catch them back and away. So uh, not particularly great DI on that down smash. And then the quick taunt. I don't know about that taunt though. I feel like that's somewhat of a, a curse. A good DI. Wow, tipper. tipper yeah. All right, so Stango up an entire stock now. Yeah, pretty big in game three. Uh, this is the break point. Yeah, but one stock not being a lead, I feel like it's a meme, but I feel like it's also true against Ice Climbers, specifically. One Ice Climber, I think one stock's a lead for sure. Yes. <laughs> We're no stocks, is still a lead against one Ice Climber. <laughs> wow, I really like cutting the block. You know what's... Slug, you didn't get the ledge, didn't even, uh, don't even have to sweet spot it necessarily. Instead gets grabbed, and we have a pretty tight battle. Who is going to pull ahead in the set? This is going to be a tough one. It's more ice blocks. I know Slug, uh, he, he, uh, is not a, not a fan of second place. I think he's gotten enough of those. I think he wants the W. That forward That back. was a cool wave dash back, back here. Because um, Stang has been doing a lot of like co go forward, go back against these ice blocks. Um, so Slug kind of launches himself backwards with that back air. That was a bait. That's a clever bait. Might be enough to get him the game. No, does not finish the edge guard. Oh, the wave dash back was crucial. Okay, I thought maybe down air. Instead, yep. Popo, uh, excuse me, Nana's still dead off the side of the stage. Yeah, I think he thought she might recover. He realized he could save her, but it was too late. And one on one, honestly, this matchup is not really great. <gasps> he and tries to go for a disrespect. That might cost him. Let's find out. A forward air. He jumps over a down tilt with a forward air. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, gets and caught down smashed off the side. He should have just hit him. Gets the edge. Nah, he can't. He, he got up slow. He's still off the stage. An ice block. Would you just grab the ledge there? I would have uh, just grabbed the ledge. This is all kinds of chokes. Would somebody kill somebody? Oh, he killed he himself! Died. That's not what we're looking for. No, that's not what the people paid to see. Oh no. Well, you know what? If the second dude is like that, it's anybody's game for. Oh, because he missed that back here on the tournament winner. What a crazy bastard! What a throw. Okay, yeah, and this is how Stango's been starting off each game. It's a, it's strange that he's able to... Oh, but this is new. There you go. Yeah, I was about to say, it's strange that Stango's able to start off each game with such momentum. But why can't he get started in the middle of a game so easy? Well, I Do think you know? that's sort of the case with uh, with Marth in certain matchups, or actually just anybody, uh, depending on their play style. Like, uh, some people just start off hot, and then they just naturally cool off. Um, I think it's a matter of, like, happenstance. Like, circumstances and what, what, what happens, like... Uh, I think most famous is Falcons. Falcons hit the ground running with all kinds of momentum. A and then if they start losing, or sometimes even if they just aren't able to do what they want to do, yeah. they just start to cool off a little bit. I don't really know what the reasoning is. Uh, I I for whatever reason, wow, it's really looking like Ken versus Chudap. Yeah, that side yeah. Combo. That's really the old school technology coming out. Okay, so now Stango is using a technique that I've seen players like the Moon use before. And with those ice blocks coming in, or when the uh, ICs are sitting there, he'll do like, sometimes it's a shield stop, but he'll sort of do a short hop. And then all he has to do is react to ICs coming in with a forward air. So his plan is almost exclusive. See those short hops? His plan is to forward air if he sees ICs uh, overextending. And then that means that the ICs are afraid to come in, and you can slowly gain ground that way. Oh, look, it looked like he was ready to react and then doubted himself. Instead, he gets grabbed. Yeah, that was. That could have been a smash attack or a dolphin slash. That was a risk he didn't need. All right, slug, uh, slugging it out right now. We are in Rocky Three, so there's some, there's some fighting happening. Oh right, yeah, I feel like that Nana should have been dead. I think it was a forward smash on the tree before. There's a circle jump again. That time he just lands, does a wave dash back. One of these times he's going to commit and come in with either a forward air or a down tilt. Let's see when that crucial mix-up happens. Goes for the forward smash. I guess he really thought he'd be able to punish that blizzard. Dude, this could be the tournament. You know one of my favorite theme songs ever came from Rocky Three, right? Yeah. Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> the Slug Have It. Is this the day? Is today the day? <laughs> yeah, I remember hearing that chant back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe not, though. It's either going to be a Hollywood story 
or uh, Nana's running away. Yeah, Nana. <laughs> Nana's had enough of this. <laughs> and you can see a different type of edge guarding. Stango guarding the ledge to make sure that Popo isn't able to rescue his girl. Yeah, he's uh, basically uh, doing a 2v1. Uh, 175, a little bit of Marthitis. Yeah, you're not kidding. Hancock, not going to be enough? No, uh, it's got to be higher than that. Uh, I don't know when you kill this character. It's uh, probably, he's really like, probably like 200 or something. Yeah, I think if he grabs him again, he can kill him. Maybe a couple pummels. That Nair should do it. No, he's still alive. Good DI. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's okay. easy to. That's an easy edge guard to follow. Yeah, you basically just have to drop it, right? I, I still can't. <laughs> I still can't believe Nana ran for her life. That was so funny. All right. All right. Now we see some patient gameplay. Oh, oh that, that counter. counter! I think he expected after he got out for. Um, Slug to try to follow with an aerial, but I mean, that's a dangerous read to go for. You don't get much even if you're right. I guess you get the stage back. Yeah. Interesting, they weren't able to punish the Dolphin Sash either. And we see Stango continuing the strategy, using the empty short hops and then being ready to react with Fair. It's like he's really abusing uh, AC's inability to uh, go in non committally. Try to go for the Falco double dare. Yep, down till it knocks him off the stage. Okay, gets the grab. Man, that is some intense footsies they were playing. Ooh. And you know what? Slug uses the platform to great effect, able to get the down smash, takes out Stango. Ooh, dolphin and Slash. Yeah, Dolphin Slash finishes it. We're down to one stock each. This could be the last stock of the set. Could what be. an up smash! He tried to do the shield. Oh, he gets the he grab! Gets we're going to get him! I think that shield on the platform was so smart. Unfortunately, he was facing the wrong way. You know what he could have done too, maybe? Uh, perhaps he could have like done crouch since he was doing an aerial, and then he would have been able to crouch cancel grabs, and that way he'd be facing the right way like it turns him around. Yeah. Um, but in any case, he gets the grab and ends up winning the game. We're going to game five in winner's finals. The full five rounds. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're going to the final round. The championship round. Somebody's going to get tippered. Or a wobble. Yeah, that that pretty much goes without saying. Probably both. It just probably gonna just see a little bit of both, but <laughs> just letting you know. Who does it happen to more? Uh, I guess contemplating his counter pick. But did he win on Yoshi's already? Did you go there? I don't know if he went. I think he went Fountain, on Yoshi's yet. Fountain's an interesting stage. It's a Stango stage for sure. It's definitely one of his best overall. Um, but it's kind of reminiscent to a f like a few things that Marth doesn't like in other stages. So there's FD mode, of course, which only lasts for a little bit, but it's still scary when it's there. Um, there is a top platform, he, but... I think that, like, Stango's been playing really well on the really long stages, so it's a little strange that he picks here. Like, even FD, I think, considering that that's the worst stage... That was a clutch. Not. <laughs> that was a clutch down air. But see, the hard part, I guess, is maintaining your focus uh, and realizing that you don't really... Like, the, the one stock is not a lead meme is actually true in the set, as we've already seen, like, throughout yeah. the set. Every game seems like anybody's game. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Stango working his way in really slowly. Not trying to force it. And you know what? Slug seems like he's not... Yeah, it feels like Slug doesn't think Ooh, he's going to be able to get in with up. fast approaches, which is probably true because of those forward airs. Mm -hmm. So instead, he's kind of like working his way in slowly. You know what? It's working okay so far. We'll see if that strategy is going to win him this final game. Wow, the up airs. The yeah, jab he, set He used the jab to set up a forward smash. It canceled his mo That is so cool. Yep. Gets on the stage and down tilts. Rolls away. He's so scared. Yeah, he's, play, he's trying to play super safe. He does not want to get grabbed. Okay, so he knows Nana. Yeah, he knows that Slow's going to try to back up. He just kind of respects it. All right, nice noosh. Yeah, but that should be the end of uh, both of the ICs. Forward smash, very stale now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, once again, Stango with a lead, but we've already seen him with similar leads throughout the set. Oh, he puts out the... Ca he pre mashed That was the Wizro pre mash uh, special. Yeah, Stango, one of the best mashers in the game. I'll, yeah. I'll say it outright. He is very good at mashing out. Yeah, he mashes like his life's on the line. Because it is. His tournament life. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't DI it again, but he gets... All right, so... Uh, Looks like he was a little upset about it. You can see him in the player camp. Yeah, I feel like he, a... he, he... It's probably one of the situations where you ever, like, you swear you hit the input. Yes. And it doesn't happen. Yes. 
<laughs> giving him the oh that was that was actually really smart. Yeah, go ahead and explain why. It was amazing. Uh, well he dash attacked him to send him all the way to the other end of the side to basically guarantee that he can't do that wonky nana save. Yeah, with up, the play. Yeah. Yep. So that was smart. Uh, Stango not trying to uh, to give up his uh, his dominance. Okay, right here, Stango's so aware that he can't get crowned. Oh, wow, he opens deeper. him up with the forward airs again, and this is not looking good for Slug. Did he just go to the edge and get invincibility as though he's a hex yeah. monk? Yeah, he did, but it's not going to help him. And that's that's, that, that, that's wow. basically the end. Those last two stocks from Stango played so cleanly. Yeah. Wow. I think that that last wobble just did it. Like, that just did it. Yeah. Um, not able to get out of the one down throw re-grab. Um, yeah. But certainly able to win the game. I think that mash was a really big momentum changer, too. Yeah. Because he would have been down, right, if he didn't hit that? If he didn't mash, I think he would have. Yeah, he would have been down. Yeah, that was a big difference maker. Yeah.